What is going on everybody? Ever at Gaming Gear, another assigned episode for more The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD on the Nintendo Switch. So, um, last time, cause, um, somehow we just, uh, can, just, uh, left on back to the, uh, where we, where we pick up and, and inside the temple. And, um, of course, because, um, we just, uh, play a little bit of its, uh, song, and, of course, because we go in to learn the, uh, the ballad of the, uh, the goddess. And, turns out, that is, uh, there is uh, something that is um that the ground is uh, shaking and we go ahead and uh, open what's uh, outside and um, of course uh, I do like um like I apologize for the uh for the fan noise that uh, stuff from uh, yesterday video what's still still where it's coming from because uh, I almost forgot the uh, last video because I was supposed to go ahead and switch my uh, microphone to the uh, USB audio device so whoa what is was all the shaking. But the whole ground is uneven. I thought it was it's supposed to be solid down here. Go quickly, Link. Check on the ceiling spiker at the center of the pit. There is nothing natural about these uh, tremors. That monster that could free itself at any moment approached the pit that was caution. Okay then. Well, as you can see, we can um, barely go ahead and take the dive and uh, go use this uh, sail club and then we won't take too many damage by uh, losing all our hearts. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep on dropping through. And we already knew what's, uh, what's going on. I mean, it's this, uh, what, whatsoever we just saw in, because with the whole darkness, it's, uh, emerging to something. Okay, so that uh, creature that we encounter is the other uh, one that we, uh, we watched in the, uh, in the back of the custom. So this one is the imprisoned. If that was his, that was his name. Yeah, I was right before. So the imprisoned is uh, what we did encounter, which have no arm but legs. And uh, of course, uh, we were supposed to keep away from, from the feet. I knew it. The still have given given away. I'll explain later, but the now is the time for action. We must uh, keep the bat beast uh, from escaping that pit. It must uh, not reach the temple. Okay, well, let's uh, try to go and put a stop to it. So uh, we got here into this uh, geyser. Can go use our sail cloth and give it getting off from that. So steering length. So uh, we were supposed to go and uh, land on the head, okay? So all you do is just to uh, go ahead and properly, properly land on the on the the, the uh, being prison. And yeah, so as you can see, what's in his head? Yeah, so you just go ahead and uh and bash it with your sword from uh, stopping from re reaching the temple. It's uh, what you're trying to do. So now. He's about to go ahead and uh, lay down his belly and start by slivering. Alright, so uh, I got it. It's a perfect timing on this. So let's go in. Oh, what the? Are you kidding? Okay, well, I did not even get the, um, the, the second step because you can barely go in and get back up. Okay, so uh, I'm not losing any heart. That's fine. Okay, so let's go back to uh, hopping around on this geyser. Oh, no, we need to go a little higher than, than that, Link. We need to go a bit more higher. Can we go high? No. What are you doing? I ask that you go any higher. Okay, but we were supposed to be flying. Okay, hold on. So uh, let's go and land. Just a uh, land right there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, rush towards it. So that is this um, this uh, what's what we call it a pedestal that we have to go in and take out. So now we we realize because he's not half um dead yet. So let's go ahead and use this. I mean, this go and take us super high. Okay, so he's way down below. Okay, I just hope we make it this time. Oh my gosh, really? That's terrible. That's a terrible landing link. But um, that's alright. I mean, we can go back to the geyser and uh, we can go back to... To uh, take our ways uh, back to uh, the higher distances. Alright, so uh, let's go sky high. Alright, so we're just swirling around. And then we're just looking for opening spot. So let's just hope we make it. 
Okay, what the? Are you for real? Come on. Hold still, will ya? Oh my gosh, it's almost fair. Please, would you? Would you at least hold still? Work with me, game. Okay, so uh, I don't have. Come on! What? Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh my gosh, this is not looking too good. Jeez, man, I suck. I suck pretty bad. Can you please just land on the fin already? Lin, come on! This is terrible balance. Hold still! Okay, come on, it's not not on my watch, no. Oh, come on, don't let it get worse. Come on, let's hurry up. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Okay, but I didn't expect him to go and miss the head like that. While I was, like, steering the L stick left to right when I was uh, skydiving, I just, uh, like, I missed the, on the top of his, um, his forehead. But, uh, here we have it. So, that's, uh, three of his alive taken down. Alright, that, that wasn't too bad, actually. Okay, well, that was a, a pretty decent uh, boss fight, never go lie. Alright, and uh, what, what, whatever is happening. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to find out during this uh, opening custom there. So, uh, we just uh, did go ahead and stop the curse from uh, lifting the, um, the monster. Okay, well, we're just gonna go risen the monster so that it can start by destroying the temple and then just go ahead and uh, take over the other uh, sky. Now, Link, strike the other uh, ceiling spike that with the skyward strike of, and restore the seal quickly. Okay, so uh, let's just go ahead and get our butts down to the uh, to the, cent to the other ground. All right, and let's see, any anything else around here? No. Okay, well, I get the feeling like we were supposed to go for the Skyward Strike. Okay, so we're gonna have that thing glowing. And just to like the, the... Oh, okay. So we were supposed to go and follow the lines. With the uh, R-Stick. Okay, so hold on. Oh, okay. So you were supposed to go ahead and uh, like uh, steal the R-Stick. Okay, it's like uh, we had to go ahead and slice it with a sword. And then just uh, go ahead and uh, create an upside down triangle there. What's our sword? All right, so we just go ahead and uh, seal away the um the curse forever. All right, well that wasn't too bad. I mean, it it was um was a not too hard of a, a boss fight. I mean, it was it's, it was quite decent actually, because uh, we just go ahead and uh, seal the the imprisoner now uh, once and for all. Nice going, Link. Bro, the be in prison have only just uh, begun uh, to awaken and break its bonds. I'm impressed that you were able to restore the Basile and keep it captive. Unfortunately, that you have only succeeded in buying us a little more time in which I to act. I mean, Lady does his best. I mean, but well, there's uh, no worrying about him. But uh, been a month, but you beat the back into a uh, compliment in a horror of unspeakable power. Judging by what I saw, I would not be surprised if the, uh, the seal give away again soon. So you are left with a precious little time to complete the task of which, which uh, you have been entrusted. Return to the other uh, seal temple, Link. There is uh, much to discuss. Okay, so we have to go ahead and like um discuss the whatsoever this uh, whole situation is going on. Okay, so we're just uh, staring at the uh, goose all day. Well, I have no comment over over this um that bully. As you can see, the, the gate is nothing more than a slab of a cold stone. For now, it is sleeping, rousing it if from uh, its slumber or would uh, require great power. Yes, I believe a shot of holy light uh, from your skyward striker might just do it. Ah, uh, sorry to disappoint you, boy, but for now, your sword lasts with the power necessary to awaken the gate. 
Bursa, you and your sword must grow together. Far on were the Elden Volcano and the Lanayru Desert. A sucker flame is uh, hidden somewhere in each of these uh, lands. Seep them out and uh, purify uh, your sword in their peace. Only after your blade uh, has been uh, tempered uh, by these uh, free fire will it be uh, fully uh, imbued uh, with the great, so uh, great power for which uh, you search. Clues to the fine of uh, the sacred flame had been uh, woven uh, into the lyrics of a song uh, precious to your people, uh, the ballad of a goddess. These clues are your best uh, hope of, of finding your way to the flame. Return to Skyloft. Somewhere on your island is uh, one whose uh, knowledge of this uh, old song will point you in the right direction. Okay, so we got Grusa right behind us. And uh, he looking at like uh, looking at us like uh, we are uh, done pretty well. I hate to even uh, say it, but I guess that you got it all figured out, Granny. Me well, there's nothing I can do to to help Zelda. I'm useless. Yeah, I, I bet you are. I mean, Grusa is no hero. Just a, a long down booty bully. Ah, you sell yourself short, my friend. You'll see in time that you have your own role to play in all this. Link, go now. Trust in the fate to guide your feet. Your mission depends on it as does of Zelda's fate. <laughs> yeah, it turns out to me like um he he been uh, talking nicely. Nonsense, like uh, she, she like uh, Palpatine's uh, mother is here to, to guide him to the darkness or something like that. <laughs> you know what? Forget it. I, I'm not gonna like uh, bring up that Star Wars reference, alright? I uh, write about this on this video. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, slash these uh, pods to see if they got hearts inside. Okay, so uh, I'm still seeing more of those uh, Deku C's. Okay, I don't see any heart. Oh, wait a minute, is there a chair that we can sit on? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, well, there's nothing to discuss over this dialogue, so let's just uh, go and get some hearts. And we, we can get off this chair and go talk, talking to, to the uh, old one again. So when the free a separate flame and have it imbued your sword, the only event that will be at the gate of time open for you. The clue that will lead you to the uh, flame is uh, woven into the song of your uh, homeland known as the Ballad of the, the, the Goddess. Okay. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and get a move on. So we see enough of this place in the uh, steel ground. Okay, so that is our steel ground complete. So um, now we're just uh, now just uh, taking us to back to where we can uh, go ahead and, uh, and talk to, to Goose. Okay, just uh, look at these uh, birds. Oh come on! I couldn't do a thing. I'm totally useless. Okay, so now you just go and get so frustrated, just go and like uh, bang on the other uh, wall. Okay, so he needs a minute of his time to think it over through. <laughs> okay, well, Gooseland is uh one of the uh, ridiculous place I have ever heard. Okay. So, uh, Groose, this name had been taken already, okay? You had to name this, um, this force. Okay, well, it don't have to be a name, because only the, um, the goddess, uh, named this place. I'm just a de dead weight. What kind of use is that to anyone? Okay, so now he's just, uh, whining about something about, about, uh, not, uh, like not failing to uh, attempt to rescue Zelda or or that kind of thing. So uh, how do we get out of here? Okay, so we can go ahead and climb on this. Um. Okay. Well, that's something we can't handle. So let's just go ahead and look for a, a statue somewhere. Okay. So on. Let me uh go ahead and get this. So I don't want to go losing this beacon. 
So uh, I get the feeling because we're, we're the um the statue burst somewhere around far on woods. Okay, so uh, can we go ahead and examine this? Or you know what? I don't think you can, but uh, that's all right. So uh, we're just gonna have to keep on moving on to the path. So actually, you know what? I think this is the time to go and uh, check that with uh, Palm as we uh, continue moving upward. So uh, let's just go and get a move on. Uh, great, uh, go on. Uh, I have uh, found some. Oh, uh, have you now? Look at those butterflies uh, that responded to a beautiful tones that are swarming all over this place. This had to be the right spot. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this uh, could be a problem. I cannot carry a tune. I could uh, not create beautiful tones uh, if uh, wild animals that threaten to roll me down a hill. We can we can we do? What can we do? Okay, man. You know what? I can uh, barely go and get my net just to go catch the butterfly if I want to. I mean, they're free to catch and they can't go and get away that easy. Alright, so uh, let's go and mess around with this, this uh, bird statue and then we can uh, take our way back up to the skies. Okay, so we can go and confirm yes. Alright, and uh, this where we see because this uh, orange glow is just good, just going to take me uh, sky high. So, um, we run back to onto Lumpy Pumpkin. So, um, there's this the last quest that we had to take on for for Pum. But uh, wait a minute, I want to go ahead and get that uh, that 20 ruby. May come important. So, oh my gosh, hold on, I didn't get the charge. Okay, so I think it, it can uh, get away. So, how do we charge again? X. Okay, hold on a minute. So let me slow down a little bit more. Okay, so where the heck is that bird? Did that, that bird get away? Oh, wait a minute. It's down there. So I really think we should try it this time. Oh my gosh, I missed it. Okay, well, come on, please. Can we get the, the ruby? Can we get the 20 ruby? I want to time it right. Okay, so he's way, way down below. Uh, I don't know if we can keep up. Okay, I, I get the feeling that he's, he's gone now. I missed my chance to get the 20 ruby, but well, you know what? We could just focus on getting to uh, the lumpy pumpkin, alright? So, uh, let's uh, wait a minute. Is there a bird right over there? Uh, I catch the uh, the feeling because there's a bird over there that that may have um dropped some ruby. I mean it, it's just, just holding some ruby. I'm sorry, my my brain's not going too well. I just gotta like um like do clear my thoughts about it just to think it over. Okay, so uh this is the uh, the place where it can go take it to on the lumpy pumpkin. So uh let's go and open this. Okay, because we just did miss our chance to go and get that uh, 20 ruby. That was uh, quite an epic fail. Okay, so I believe we got a new quest coming up for Alpha uh, Pom. Oh, it's you. What the should I have for you to work on next? Oh, yeah, that you got the, the, that interesting looking instrument. I got it. I got the, the perfect job for you. But the, that job uh, can only be done at night. Wait until nightfall and uh, come back and uh, see me, alright? Okay, so um, and we uh, see what's around here. So there we see, but because there is a bed, so we can go and uh, pick the um the right bed or the left bed. So I'm gonna go and pick the on um, the, the the left bed, and we are gonna go and confirm un until night. Okay, so if we wake up until night, they're gonna be like uh, some of this uh, gratitude crystal that we gotta keep that in in mind because we, we, those are uh, gratitude gratitude crystals. Or scatter all over the um the, the lumpy pumpkin. So and we uh go and uh and and go back outside. Now I realize because you can't go ahead and call in your uh, loft when in the night while you're um while you're in in, in, in the as uh, skies. I'm sorry. Cause it uh, turns out in the night because uh, we see already because uh, wait a minute that's um a firefly I want to go capture. So let me go catch that firefly right now. Come on. Okay, so uh, I got one. 
So, um, if we just, if we continue on exploring what's around here in the Lumpy Pumpkin, so, um, I, I get the feeling that the, the gratitude crystal is somewhere, it's somewhere down to where the, uh, with the, the patch of pumpkins in, in the garden. So, let's just, let's go ahead and move downhill. And down there, because there's another one of this, uh, gratitude crystal. So, uh, which we did pick up so far is a uh, 21 for each. Okay, so that should be enough for, uh, for B-Trax. So, uh, let's just go ahead and, uh, scatter around just to go and start collecting crystals. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, take the, uh, the, the, uh, the bat door. Okay, so I just go behind it and then somehow we can barely figure out where the, uh, the second one is. So, we go ahead and, uh, continue upstairs. So, as we see, we got very did the gratitude crystal we can pick up. So, uh, let's go pick it up right now. Okay, so that's uh, one of the uh, gratitude crystal remains. So, I believe that's all the gratitude crystal that we pick up around here in the uh, Lumpy Pumpkin. So, uh, that go ahead and total up. Okay, that, that totals a little bit up to 22. Okay, so I'll talk to this dude. Uh, your name is um, Davos. Okay. Wow, I did not know people were uh, skydiving over via the Lumpy Pumpkin. I heard that there are colorful critters of that that sometimes accompany you when you skydive. I wonder if that's something that could happen when they appear? I seem only right. I mean, believe you and me, I mean, people appear like at any other place or whatever they go. Okay, so, if we go ahead and talk to the Kina, now that the pumpkins that have been uh, harvested, the field needs to be ployed before we can uh, plant new seeds. If I could only uh, find someone who was uh, good at flowing. Okay, so moving around. So I want to go ahead and keep on talking to some of these people at night. Hey, do you know this? He never was, uh, will sometimes uh, get on that stage uh, and uh, send a song or two for us. If there was a lovely uh, melody playing, I bet that she couldn't uh, help us sing it along. Well, that's, that's why I'm holding the, um, the goddess heart for. Uh, Kina's uh, singing voice is beautiful, but her music partner quit her recently, and so I haven't uh, heard heard her heard sing in a while. I really wish I could uh, hear her uh, voice again. Well, that seems a little messed up there. Oh yeah, there's uh, nowhere else I'd rather be at night. Well, you're lost, buddy. You're lost. Okay, now, talking about the poem. Oh, you were came. Let me uh, see. What was it that I want you to do next? Hey, what's that? Uh, that's a, a strange looking instrument that you have there. Oh, yes. Yeah, so you might uh, just be surprised uh, to hear that uh, Kina is actually uh, quite the sinner. It wasn't uh, that long ago that she uh, was a sinner for our, our customers. But uh, she had to stop because uh, her partner quit. Think uh, you'd be uh, willing to do a quick uh, duet with Kina? Um, of course. Um, I'm game. Great, uh, that's uh, what I want to hear. But to uh, make sure you uh, put your heart into it, uh, I won't uh, stand for anything uh, but your best. Customers uh, will start uh, waving their arms uh, as uh, Kina sends her a uh, song, so you uh, can just uh, follow follow them if you uh, need a guide to the uh, rhythm you should be playing. Okay, hold on a second, you guys. Sorry, got a little bit stuck in my throat there. Pick a customer though, who the movement are easy for you to follow and uh, stumble with them to stay, to stay on the right tempo. Don't worry about the uh, direction on your uh, strumming, uh, just uh, make sure you're not playing too fast or too slow and uh, use nice a bit of sweeping uh, motion to strum. When the other uh, customer stop moving, it's your chance to uh, freestyle a little bit uh, and play however you like. It's uh, all about uh, playing to the uh, rhythm, got it? Okay, so we have to go ahead and play it in uh, fast and slow at the same time. Alright then, hey Kina. <laughs> yes, Barbara, what is it? This kid is uh, going to accompany you while you sing. Now, uh, how about uh, letting your uh, pop to hear that beautiful voice of yours, eh? Of course, uh, let's do it, kid. Don't call me kid. Okay, so we'll just listen to this music. So I'm um, we'll just not commentary right now. No, no, no. 
Okay. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure we're getting a hint of these things. I don't know yet, so uh, let's see. Okay, do we do okay? Okay, that was not too bad. Okay, so you just want to make it sure that you like um play uh, pay close attention to uh the on uh, the audience that are enjoying the song, and uh somehow if you do it too slow or too fast, they're gonna think it's uh it's not going too well, and then somehow you're gonna have to do it with a start all over again. So um that's some of what I was uh messing up. Let me uh stop that. Okay, before we go ahead and uh and get through on this, this dialogue, so why was I playing this on the Wii? Cause um I just uh, feel like a uh, free try just so that I can like uh, play the uh, the goddess harp, so that I I was like um uh, taking it too fast and too slow at the same time because I just got like um just a look at the uh, audience that are like uh, waving their hand back and forth and but you just gotta keep on playing your um your instrument so that you can go ahead and get the proper moment just to go fast slow at the same time so that you're you're just uh, playing the uh, the right me melody of the of the song. So, uh, moving on, I guess that you could, uh, call that playing, sort of. So, to tell the truth, I found your, uh, performance a little lacking. I could have said it, it's, uh, not my salsa, though, but did you know for a first try that you did good kit, uh, good enough? With this, uh, I say, uh, we're even, you, you don't have to work for me anymore, great job. You know, I'm going to buy a new chandelier to replace that old one. It's a really, uh, fancy, uh, up the place. Considering all of the hard work you are putting around here, I feel like I should uh, give you a little something. Take this. Okay, so you, he go and give you but one of his uh, pieces of a uh, heart. Okay, so we got it's uh, two more to find. Maybe you can uh, swim by later. Yep, uh, as a customer next time. Okay, so as you kids, you have not know. I mean, we don't have to go and stop by at Lumpy Pumpkin anytime soon. Well, maybe one day. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, actually hold on. Oh, wait, actually, I forgot. Well, it's it's almost past night. Well, you know what? I'm going to have to go and save that for later. So, I believe that's going to be all lit, you guys. So, next time on the Lesser Zelda Skyward Sword HD, we're going to go right, right ahead and uh, continue on exploring the uh, sky. You have to go ahead and uh, take on more people's quests because there's a couple of these uh, quests that you have to get finished on doing in uh, Skylove on the next series, you guys. So, you don't go anywhere and you will be participating on staying tuned on the next video. So, thank you guys so much for taking the time to enjoy the episode. So, if you like the series and you want to see more of Skyward Sword HD, be sure to leave an advertise a like, share the video, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, run on the notification bell so that you'll be set up there and notified for one of my new and awesome videos up on the way. So, just making sure you guys are staying tuned in and by all means, all the description fill. So, if you want to help support the series, you can do so. We've done step by step just to help get you on started on support my channel and front this video. So, that's going to be all it for uh, Skyward Sword HD. We will be picking up more on the next one. So take care, you guys. I hope to talk to you on the next video.